Hello and welcome to another video from avforums.com. This time we'll be looking at the picture settings we obtain when calibrating the review sample of the Panasonic TX55DX600 4K Ultra HD TV. First thing you want to do is grab your remote, look top left and press the menu button, which brings up the picture menu. As you can see we've already got True Cinema selected, which is what we're using for our nighttime settings. So it gives closest to reference performance. We set the backlight at 47 for a full screen white output of 140 nits. Um, the DX600 loses a little bit of contrast in mixed scenes, so we think we need a little bit of extra light put over the usual 120 nits. Contrast with 90, which is default. Brightness is zero, which is also default. Color, we set at 50 and did some work in the color management system. Tint, there's absolutely no need for. Sharpness we reduce to zero. The color temperature is warm too, is closest to D65, although warm one wasn't too far off. Vivid color is off. Adaptive backlight control, which controls the dimming system in the DX600, uh, which isn't particularly good. Well, it's poor, to be quite honest. It's a global dimming system and just darkens the whole image until it just eventually crushes all the detail out of it. So that's off. Ambient sensor also off. That detects the brightness of the room and adjusts the brightness of the image to suit, but we don't really need that in a nighttime environment for sure. Noise reduction and MPEG remaster also off for high quality sources. Intelligent frame creation, you might find it useful in min, but certainly no more. I would stick definitely to video content because it makes films look soapy and unnatural. Clear motion is slightly different, it's a black frame insertion technique. Uh, you might want to experiment with that. It certainly causes no soapiness, but you will have to increase the backlight setting as it dims the image. Advanced settings now. Concast, uh, contrast control off. Color gamut normal gives closest to Rec 709. This isn't an HDR TV. And you'll not get Rec 2020 or even DCI P3 out of it. So we'll just leave that on normal. White balance, it's got both two and 10 points of so get your pencils and paper at the ready and perhaps your pause button. We have red gain minus two, green gain minus four, blue gain minus one, red cutoff minus six, green cutoff minus three, and blue cutoff plus one. Into the 10 points, we're just gonna flash through these. So be at the ready, start at 100 and go down. We also managed to get the gamma tracking nicely with the 10 point white balance control, so we'd had no need of the 10 point gamma. And coming down to 40% stim, 30, 20, and 10. And now we move into the color management system. The primaries. Not a lot of adjustment to get the colours tracking well at all points of measurement. And then finally we'll go into the global gamma setting which we set at 2.4 and it actually produced a gamma of pretty much rule of that 2.4. So that's the nighttime settings completed. Now for the daytime we used a different picture mode. We'll just scroll up and down again and we use the cinema mode which isn't a million miles away out of the box as true cinema it's just a bit brighter so backlight well it depends on how bright your room is but 60 will give you about 200 nits light output um, you can go brighter if needs be the color we up to 52 to slightly over illuminate and slightly over saturate Still a colour temperature of warm too is correct. And again, all these extra processing controls we switched off. And into the advanced settings. And we'll just show you the two point white balance adjustments. There's no point in going 10 point for a daytime setting because everything changes so much in terms of light. And there we have it. 
that completes our look at the pitch settings of the Panasonic DX600. Thanks for watching.